what is up everybody welcome back to alt you know what's not up the market <laughs> all right uh first off you know we'll get to that all in due time first off welcome to altcoin daily my name's austin and you know here at altcoin daily we drop a video every single day about cryptocurrency every day that's how we stay informed as investors that's why you guys subscribe to the channel and today i want to talk about coinbase funfair amazon and htc a couple big companies that are making pretty significant headlines in the cryptocurrency world uh, that could uh, really potentially impact us as investors. So these articles brought me a lot of value. I want to bring it to you guys. Uh, but first off, I just want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. You know, if you find value in this video anytime today, just please, if you want to subscribe, it just helps us grow as a channel. We're trying to build a community. Anyway, let's get to the meat. I want to start with a just a quick little market check-in. I like to do these occasionally, and today we're definitely going to do one because last night, thirty billion dollars left the market, um, and at least at the time of recording, uh, Bitcoin was down six percent. You can already tell that people are starting to take advantage of this little dip. Probably some of our viewers, you know, you guys know, take advantage of the dips. But let's. We're not going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, for a couple of reasons, but just to put it in perspective, let's check out Bitcoin and let's check out the one day Okay, this was our little dip. This was 30 billion dollars leaving the market and Team I'll say it this dip right here. It does not matter. Just like this dip back here does not matter Okay, I know the viewers of this channel the subscribers of all coin daily you guys are smart We all know because we're gonna check out the full chart from day one. We are way, way up from where we were, you know, two years ago, three years ago, one year ago. These dips, this too shall pass. In the long run, they don't matter. Okay, we will wait them out. Bitcoin is here to say, and if, and if you are not convinced that Bitcoin or, you know, cryptocurrency in general is here to say, these articles we're gonna get into, I think will leave no doubt in your mind that things are changing. And little dips like this, I don't know why they happen. Uh, I don't know why you know bad things happen to good people, but uh, it's you know it's just the whales whales manipulating the market. We are but small fish, so just know it'll pass. That's the new hashtag. Let me know in the comments hashtag this too shall pass, and you know like this video if you agree. Uh, shameless plug. Anyway, let's get to the meat. Coinbase. Uh, we talked about Coinbase a little bit the other day, but Coinbase just announced, I'm bringing this to you guys, Coinbase goes after Wall Street with new services for institutional investors. Let's check this out. Coinbase plans to launch a range of new services aimed at institutional investors who are finally beginning to embrace crypto. So they want the big money. Coinbase wants the big whales, the ones who are manipulating this very market, they want that money in Coinbase. And they're gonna do that with Coinbase Custody, which is a, it provides a specialist level of services to allow institutions to hold Bitcoin and other cryptos with Coinbase. Because right now, there's precious difference, little difference, in customer care regarding whether they hold a thousand dollars or ten million dollars in coinbase but custody in an effort to go beyond that and offer a higher standard of service in line with what institutions require so basically you know everybody is aware that big money is beginning to enter the market all the signs are there which means these little dips they don't matter hashtag this too shall pass uh, and Coinbase is making ready, so it's a place to store, allow special services for those high investors, and in terms of trading, they're coming up with something called Prime. So it's a new platform dedicated to those institutional customers, and the platform is called Prime. And Prime offers a trading service that customize, that's customized to such customers. So basically, they're providing more value, more benefits for those people with more money. What does this mean? Is this good, team? Is this bad? In my opinion, 
not only is this good, but it's inevitable, okay? Institutional money is coming. Um, and it's good in just a sense that the whales uh, are starting to see value in cryptocurrency. Okay, that's something that you and me, we already know. Okay, that's why we invest. That's why you guys are subscribed, gosh darn it, because we see value in cryptocurrency. So this is just a great sign that, or it's a great play by Coinbase, I would say, to get the big money on their exchange. Let's keep going. Other news, Funfair. You guys know, Funfair, it's like essentially, uh, it's a technology provider for online gambling operators. But Funfair, if that didn't explain it, uh, technology provider for online gaming operators, uh, Funfair uh, creates gambling games and tools uh, necessary to manage uh, those gambling operations. So basically what they do, they license their blockchain out so it can easily be integrated with online gambling, gambling sites. Funfair is a licensing play with gambling blockchain, and Funfair is actually one of the leaders in this. Well, uh, Funfair just announced that they're going live next month and they're going to start rolling out this, this technology to some casinos, online casinos, which is always great. It's always great when you get an actual working product out there. And before we could only watch demos and how it should work on the website, next month it's going to go live. If you guys like Funfair, you like this. And one last little piece of value that Funfair is bringing to us, I'm bringing to you, is, and we're not going to actually listen, but uh, Funfair wants to make sure that nobody could ever, ever claim that Funfair token is a security. They announced this just at the consensus yesterday. Um, so um, they announced that they've changed their coin slightly and they're no longer, no longer, no longer going to have coin burns. So originally, they would burn just a slight amount of fun token with every transaction. Other cryptos do this. R Ripple does it. Um, but they're no longer going to do a coin burn with each transaction um, because they're eliminating the burn. So there's no question, no question uh, that their token is a utility and not a security. So they want only utility value to be offered with Funfair. You know, there's a working platform and they don't want to get in trouble with the SEC. So if you like Funfair, you like this information, and you know what? If you were to ask me, Austin, which cryptocurrencies make money? Which are the good investments? Well, keep in mind, I'm not a financial expert. You know, this is just us having a cup of coffee in the morning talking about cryptocurrency. So this is not advice, but I would tell you the, uh, the cryptocurrencies that make money, they have a working product one, and they can stay consistent with their roadmap, and they offer check-ins for us to stay knowledgeable. So if you like Funfair, you'll like this, let me know in the comments. Let's keep going. Amazon, we all know the big fat cat Amazon. Well, it's moving into blockchain with a big new partnership uh, with an Ethereum uh, blockchain. Let's check this out. Amazon and Ethereum. Uh, they're partnering with a startup called Kaleido to make it easier for customers to put their services on blockchain. So basically, uh, Amazon's computing arm, as they talk it, AWS, and AWS is Amazon Web Services, um, which gives customers, businesses, just scalable, inexpensive cloud computing service. Well, um, they're going to help customers, you know, now move faster and, and not worry about having to manage blockchain on their own. If that doesn't make sense, let's just read this quote. Uh, this is from one of the founders of their partner. Uh, businesses can now focus on their scenario and they don't have to become PhDs in cryptography. Uh, we give them a simple platform to build their company on blockchain. So Amazon is partnering up with Kaleido to give businesses, or I should say Amazon's cloud computing arm, AWS, is partnering up to give businesses a chance to be able to use blockchain um, without having to, you know, learn all the technical mumbo jumbo, stuff that I don't even understand. So what does this mean? One, Amazon, obviously, is a huge leader in tech and innovation in general, and now they're dipping their toe into the blockchain realm. Great sign. Great sign, in my opinion, because first off, Facebook announced the other day they're dipping their toe 
in blockchain too, when one domino falls, they all soon will fall. This too shall fall, the hashtag. Um, what do you guys think? Um, what do you guys think specifically about the Amazon uh, blockchain partnership? Good thing, bad thing, inevitable thing? Let me know in the comments. Um, I think it's good and it's bound to happen. Um, oh yeah, Amazon is partnering with Ethereum Design Studio. Consensus, which is a part which Kalido is part of. Let's keep going. HTC. HTC is launching a blockchain powered phone. A phone that's gonna be in the hands of millions of people. Uh, yeah, this dip, it, sh it too shall pass. Uh, so, let me get back on track. Uh, HTC is launching a blockchain powered phone. Let's check this out. The phone is named, the name is Exodus. It will feature a universal wallet and, and a built-in secure hardware enclave to support cryptocurrencies and decentralized applications or dApps to us savvy individuals. Um, so, I mean, th th this is basically, basically the news. They're going to make it easier for people that are into uh, cryptocurrencies to be able to store and kind of use uh, whatever their blockchain or cryptocurrency has to offer. I think this is kind of cool because even if you're not into blockchain, you'll get this phone, maybe, and you'll see that, wow, this has a feature that I didn't know about. Um, but this article actually didn't bring up a pretty good point, which is right now, this all this, you know, this cool stuff that they're putting in the hardware, right now, all these features can be integrated into any average smartphone with the help of software alone. Doesn't matter if you have a regular phone or one of these hip new blockchain phones. So all of us already have this power, just with software. But uh, you know, in general, I like that AC, uh, HTC is uh, planning for the future. Another company that's future forward in their thinking. All right, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you guys like these little news check-ins, like this video and, and let me know because I want to do what brings you know as much value to you guys. These articles gave uh, me a lot of value to me as an investor. Let me know in the comments. Like this video uh, if you are so inclined and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, have a great day.